How do you celebrate your victories, especially the small ones, the small everyday victor victories or weekly uh, successes? And this is something that I think I, I really wish that I did a better job of doing, actually, celebrating the small wins. I think it's it's a it's it's such a it's a very crucial habit as I see it to to build because in my experience the the biggest wins happen uh, not in a in a particular moment but gradually over time and so they're actually kind of hard to detect uh, and small wins celebrating small wins is is actually the the real habit that that makes a difference I think. Um, I think the the one thing I, I do do uh, from time to time, and that I, as I again as I read this question, I want to practice more, uh, is to, in in the simplest possible way, to just give attention to, um, to the success. Just taking a moment at the end of the day, or at the end of the work day, even just before I I head home and, and wrap up for the day to just write it down, to just see it ink on paper. These were my small victories today. Or at the end of the week, go back and review the notes of the week and say, what were my uh, victories of this week? Uh, I think it doesn't need actually to be more complicated than that. The important thing is that you're taking time and giving attention to something. And uh, as I'm walking here, I realize in terms of attention that I've become a little numb to it. Um, but I, I, I walk here every morning with Noah on the way to school. And there's actually quite a lot of, of uh, street art in these streets. And I don't necessarily feel that it's um, mind-blowing or um, breaking the norm. But it is kind of beautiful, and I think it's a. As I'm standing here, it's a it's a good reminder that uh, we can we can always look for these things. But when they're always there, it's also easy to begin ignoring them. So, a little extra thought here, and uh, that's all for today. Thank you for listening.